Okay, so I'm as ready as I'm going to be. <laughs> Welcome to Whimsy Wednesday, on a Tuesday in this case. So it's Tuesday because tomorrow is vaccine number two. And based on vaccine number one, yeah, I better do this today just in case. So, all right, there was like regular anxiety of anything medical last time, which for me is, you know, a thing. Um, this time around, I wasn't, there wasn't any, um, until this morning. Because I thought I had all my little ducks in a row and everything figured out. Well, my ducks seem to have fallen out of place. And given all the other ducks that are, well, strewn around the world, it seems, um, got a little like offset today. And yeah, just want to get through tomorrow at this point. Um, yeah, I just want to get through tomorrow. So, Whimsy Wednesday on a Tuesday, here we are. Um, I think we're going to have a few stories today. A uh, little bit of project catch up. So, um, pocket catch up. I'm worried that I'm not going to get all my pockets done by the end of the month. <laughs> this is how far we are. But, the green floss arrived. So this is where I'm, I've been using, yeah, Anna, that worked. I've been using this, all right. And since I couldn't get that elegance locally, I am using, what are these? There we go, because I'm gonna mutilate it. This is the replacement. Come on. All right. And I do actually have three different shades of green going on here. And I like what came and they came nice and quick. So I'm happy with that. I just actually have to, you know, work on it and get it done. Then I have the next one to do. So um, I have that. Um, that's probably like the least amount of progress. Um, Next amount of progress are the staves. So these are the 1830s into 40s stays, uh, red threaded pattern. My first time using a pattern. I'm so used to draping and drafting. Um, I gotta say these are not a showpiece. <laughs> the construction that I've done is, oh, mediocre. Um, you won't be getting pictures of me wearing this. Actually, at one point I was like, oh, I'll wear my chemise and my new stays and do the video. And now, um, you can see the stays and all their like not completeness um, and a little, little, little tucky thing going on here. And hi, Miss Clara. That's mommy's. I'm trying to tell everybody about all this. And she, of course, has helped with the um, lacing. All right, so I got a little oopsie there. We're going to get a little oopsie there. I had to rip out the hip gussets. Um, so I was really happy with how these felt, like, is that one Saturday night? Saturday night, I'm like, yay. And I put them on again Sunday, and I'm like, no, because I sat down. And I'm like, nope, nope, nope. So ripped out the hip gussets, dropped that down. Um, so it turns out where I should have taken the length out is actually from the waist down. Um, I have this weird thing happening where um, the cups felt too big, so I had to bring those back in. Um, but at the same time, this nice little dip here that's supposed to be here is here. Learned that. Um, so what I figured out, we're going to talk a little bit about breast tissue here. I have probably like the mammogram tech's dream in that my breast tissue likes to sit out flat um, really well. So I, they're flat, they're not big anymore. Um, so I think what's happening in 
the little cup here is it wants to go out the tissue wants to go out so when it's put in the cup it just wants to sink so it sinks down and that kind of sinks through um so I've got to put in you can't see it if I go back there I'm gonna put in some crescents um, like I have on my current um, corset that was built before the surgeries before you know massive tissue changes and stuff um, so that's that it's going to get bound after it gets a couple more um, cording channels they're here I just have to put them in I'm gonna do four more on each side and this is running on this side right down through where all that scar tissue is um, it's got to say when I put this on you can really see the difference between my torso right and left sides um, it's extremely obvious like I think I want to actually take my stays to a doctor's appointment one of these days and say this is what I see can you see it because you know I can see it all right, so that's that. There we go. <sighs> what else have I been doing? Um, me, my name, Um, definitely some straw. I'm working on this really awesome big 1830s bonnet. I can't show you. Um, it's not mine. It's for someone else. I will be doing a late 30s for me. I'm pretty proud of it. Um. Yeah, pretty proud of that one. And then I finally, I squeezed this little guy in. Uh, yeah, basic, basic, um, classic, standard, traditional. Um, so this is the, uh, the tapered crown, but I let it curve a little bit more than usual. The next one's gonna be um, more fitted to the, to the block. Uh, I really liked the line that this was was creating as I was working on it. And this will get decorated. Um, I think Saturday morning. That's the goal. So that is that. Now here's this little thing going on here. Um, I noticed Sunday I started bruising at the back of my, like where my thumb hits my wrist again. And, oh, oddly enough, it matches the way the ribbon that I brought out. Um, so I noticed it, I did ice it, and then today I'm sitting in a friend's classroom that has better light than, than mine. Um, mine is very artificial and just odd. Um, and I'm like, oh, it is going down. And then I really looked at it, and I'm realizing I actually have discoloration that goes from here to here. Uh, with the, the deeper bruise there, I'm like, oh, it's probably not good. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Um, I'll be icing that a little more. Um, my wrist is a little skinnier there. Um, a huge difference between like when I sew and if I stop sewing for several weeks, <laughs> the size of my wrists. It's amazing what the difference is. When I was in the hospital for the gallbladder thing, <laughs> I really wanted a tape measure. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I have pretty wrists again. It was kind of nifty to see. Some of that is weight loss, but a good chunk of that is the, the not sewing and not swelling. So there's that. Um, wanted to bring out this pretty chunk of ribbon. Now this actually has to get washed. This little snippet I took off of a roll because there was some water damage. Um, I'm hoping the rest of the roll is fine. But hoping you can see the really nice color changing in this. This was a ribbon I had originally bought, there you go, for display out of a whole batch. But I really enjoyed that and wanted to show you that. So I'm hoping if I can get that water staining out of there, you can see it, that I'll be able to use this piece, probably like a sewing case or something, keep the salvage edge in there and really utilize this little scrap because I can't use it for a... A millinery piece. I'm gonna put it up there instead. All right. So I do have one non 
sewing story for you. Um, had a little oops on Sunday. So, um, I had attempted to make soup the day before. Wasn't horrible. Um, and then I did that horrible, awful thing of I was going to deal with it later. And while I got very productive <laughs> on things and forgot about the soup, um, and yeah, I did that horrible thing where I left it on the stove. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll just pour it down the drain. Um, I've got the garbage disposal drain that I, you know, really haven't even gotten used to, even though I've been here a couple years. Didn't have one before. I've gotten past the fear of it, mostly. <laughs> um, so I put in the soup. I'm going to turn it on. Kern, 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 kern is this horrible grinding noise. Quickly turn it off. Soup's all gone. And I look in. Glass. And I'm like, what is that? It's thick glass. I managed to get a chunk of it out with a, the big old um, barbecue tongs. And I realize it's my favorite teeny tiny Pyrex bowl that I use for my soy sauce. So the smaller version of this. Nice thick glass. I had the whole set. Oh, and now that I'm looking at it, it's not Pyrex, it's Anchor Hawking. But you know, so my um, garbage disposal <laughs> chewed up one of these. A little smaller. Um, this one is, this one's three inches. So I'm betting the other one was two inches. Um, it was the perfect petite little size for, you know, soy sauce for sushi. And it, you know, died. I got most of the pieces out. I went to turn it back on and all I got was, hmm, that sound the uh, sewing machine makes when the needle's stuck. So I knew I wasn't getting anywhere. Read up a lot on um, garbage disposals. Learned a few things. It kept talking about unplugging it. Mine doesn't unplug. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to fuss with it. The maintenance guys come take care of it. I fixed it yesterday. Um, Miss Clara, I don't know. She was not so pleased. Uh, she was not familiar with this maintenance guy. He came in and he jangled. He had keys and things dangling and jangling. And he moved a little faster than the, the normal maintenance guy that comes in who's is very very cat friendly she actually likes him um so the response was come on uh a few seconds he fixed the thing but so that leaves me without my little sushi dish and i am grateful that it was just that one because you know it's cheap little guy not one of my hand thrown ones so today i'm talking with a coworker. Same one with the, the classroom where I noticed my bruise changing. And she's talking about some of the ones that she has. And so it got me thinking about replacing my little sushi sauce thing. Um, and I could so easily just go get, you know, a couple more of these. Uh, another set. Because they are. They're the spice dishes. I'm like, why have I been using one of these? I have pretty ones. All right. I have hand-thrown Wizard of Clay pretty ones. And okay, yeah, they're parts of pears. I'm like, but I've been using one of these. Totally utilitarian. And it kind of got me thinking on the drive home about some of the things I use and which ones are just like functional things, which has its place. I'm, I'm very into things being functional and things that are a little something extra. And... I was like, no, I don't want a boring one. I'm going to replace it with a pretty one <laughs> because I deserve to enjoy a pretty little dish. So I will be on a quest for a pretty little sauce dish. Um, might look for one, you know, in some antiquing sessions. Maybe I'll stop and buy one that's hand thrown. Um, the, the thought actually occurred to me as I drove past a pottery place on the ride home. And I'm like, hmm, I could stop. Um, but I was worried if I could stop that I'd get myself completely distracted and spend more money. Must behave. Uh, but anyway, 
I am going to go on a quest, not only for the replacement soy sauce dish, that'll be pretty, um, with a whole plan of using things that I enjoy and aren't just, you know, the generics. Um, more along the lines of, okay, my little kitty cat mugs, um, my museum mugs. I have a couple mugs that have really pretty flowers. That sort of thing. So the quest is to not just buy the standard basic, but maybe a little personality. Um, and really work on enjoying the things that I have. Um, there was one point where I was buying some really pretty dishes. Um, they're mostly all in storage. And not that I dislike my red transferware, but I've got, um, I've got my Rose Point by Stu Benville. It's all packed up. Um, I've got some fun, that onion pattern in blue. Um, I've had a couple really nice sets of, of hand-thrown pieces. I like hand-thrown stuff. Um, but it's gotta be cozy. <laughs> um, but I'm liking, like, you know, nice lines. Um, kind of like I like the lines in straw. I'm really enjoying like the similar lines reflected in pottery and floral things and textures with fabrics. So new quest based on the destruction of the soy sauce dish. Enjoying what I have. Buying things that aren't just the same old, same old. Um, still being cost effective because, you know, this is me. I'm cheap. <laughs> I don't like spending money. I feel guilty when I spend money. Um, so a little bit of that whole romanticizing my life, a little bit of the cozying, um, making sure that my personality is in the things that I have. Um, cause you know, I'm looking around cause from here I see like the kitchen. Not a lot of plastic. I don't like plastic. <laughs> I don't know why I have so much plastic. Um, really making use of like the baskets that I have and the silver trays that I have and the things that I like and maybe organizing a little too. So new goal. We'll see how it goes. So hopefully we'll have a, a find in the following couple months. Um, no, it's not an urgent thing. You never know what I'll find. Um, and I'm also aware that the flea markets in the region will be opening um, come May, so that might be part of the quest. Does Clara want anything from a flea market? Not sure? Aw. Yeah, good girl. What? <laughs> She's pretty full, you can feel her belly. You full belly? What are you rubbing on? Oh, it's the chair. Yeah, because I put the chair in. You want this? Is that what you want? You're flashing everybody. There we go. So she has developed a spot in the bed that is hers. And I gotta say, I'm loving the fact that it's like squished right up against my legs. This has been such a different development over this year. Um, and more so since I was sick. And I really like that she likes to snuggle in the bed now. She didn't do that before. Her predecessor was one that slept right by me. I would come home, she would sleep right by me or sit up behind my shoulder as I would read to her. Um, Clara isn't isn't the kitty that wants to sit and be read to. She'll sit and watch some Zooms and some shows. She doesn't want to be read to. Um, and she's not a foot warmer. Predecessor was a foot warmer. She would keep my toesies so warm. <laughs> oh, good girl. She's super, super fuzzy. Yeah, so I've got her picture over there. Um, Lori painted her for me. One of these days, I should take you on a tour of the wall of paintings. Well, they're paintings and drawings. And they're all, all except for one photograph and one painting. They're all by the same artist. And I do have to find the box that has Bailey on it and get the lid of that put up. 
Um, yeah, it's a good wall. Uh, but they're all, yeah, same person. One, the other painting is um, actually by a cat. <laughs> um, oh gosh, I feel bad. I can't remember which cat. Oh, it's one of the, I think that's not a bobcat. That's a bigger, might have been one of the lions. I've got to go back through. It should say it on the back. It's from one of the zoos. It's part of a fundraiser. Oh, I'm such a jerk that I can't remember what that is. And then the other, the photograph that's up there is Grandma. Um, I should see if I can get Lori to draw Grandma one of these days too. She's standing in front of MacArthur. Um, ages and ages ago. Um, looking at the walkways that might actually be before the children's garden went in. She makes the doorway look huge. And she's petite, was petite. Yeah. All right, one of these days I have to take you guys on a tour. All right, I guess that's it. Um, so I just bantered on for um, 20 some minutes there. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their week. Um, tomorrow, what I'll do, because this will go up on, on YouTube tonight, because I haven't figured out how to set the timing part with the phone. Um, after I get back home uh, in the afternoon slash evening, I'll add a note to um, the WordPress post. Um, and I'm home because <laughs> um, I know that'll that'll be um, something folks will ask me so that that'll be the plan um, yeah I think that's the easiest way to do that so I'll, I'll post this in the morning make it go live overnight or in the morning and then I'll add a little note uh, when I get home so that y'all know that I'm home um, oh craft um, I mi missed like all of March um, we didn't do a project so want to do a project again but I'm kind of flaking on ideas I am so sorry part of me wants to go back and do another woven pinball which is about this time of last year I think I can't even remember um so I, I will think of a project might be a pinball um I enjoy doing the pinballs it might be something else I don't know yet but yes I will get to a project I can't guarantee it's going to be before April's over because I am working on a couple other little programs um, that I want to get all the details together for. So, all right, you want to say bye? Let's say bye. Okay, everybody have a good week and a good weekend.